How's it going, everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of athlete's foot between your toes um, tutorial. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support that helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, billenberg999. So athlete's foot between your toes. Again, athlete's foot, all it is, it's fungus. It's fungus. That's all it is. So how can we get rid of it? A very easy method is applying hydrogen peroxide. That works very good, um, gets rid of funguses very easily. Tea tree oil works wonders for um, funguses, you guys. Rubbing alcohol, another great method. Garlic works really good. Salt works good. Um, Vicks Vapor Rub, that's actually used. You're supposed to put Vicks on your chest and it actually helps to get rid of congestion. It helps to relieve sinus pressure and it helps to breathe if you have a stuffy nose. Vicks Vapor Rub actually works tremendously for athlete's foot. Again, that's all athlete's foot is. It's, um, it's a fungus infection. Now, the reason why you're getting athlete's foot usually is because of the sweat. Maybe you sweat a lot. Um, fungus really thrives on moist or wet environments. So that's why when you're sweating, you're at a higher chance of getting um, athlete's foot. One thing that I did to help prevent athlete's foot is to use baby powder. If you're constantly sweating on your feet and they're just constant sweat, put some baby powder in between your toes or wherever you're getting the fungus. Baby powder helps to absorb um, the sweat and it works amazing. It'll also prevent friction too. So if you're getting like blisters often or maybe your feet are rubbing, then again, the baby powder will help really good. But I use that for athlete's foot and it works really good. So try baby powder too. End of video, thank you so much for watching.